Here's a peek into what we're doing in Minutes Matter Studio Coaching Series. In Level 1, Session 1, we created a color matching tool. Using Studio's drawing tools and formatting tools, we quickly created this template for our custom library. Now it can be used over and over again for each client. Let me show you how it works. I drag it onto my drawing space. I'm going to go get an image of a fabric swatch that I've downloaded from the Eastern Accent website. I want to make my fabric as close to the size of this background square as possible. And now I'm going to delete that background square. And now I want to make my border as close to the size of my swatch. That looks good. Now I'm going to extract the colors from my fabric swatch. I'm going to zoom in so that I can really get right in here and get the colors out that I need. I'm going to choose a square in my palette, click on the eyedropper tool, and come over and test out some of the colors. There's a green I like. Click OK. And now I want to activate another square in my palette. I'm going to get one of the obvious colors, that would be the blue, and activate another square in my palette. As I move my eyedropper tool around my fabric swatch, I can see it testing each color. This is a little bit of a darker green that I was trying to get. I'm going to zoom back out. And I want to try to test these colors now with this fabric. To do that, I'm going to select my background, click the eyedropper tool again, come up and select a color, and I really love that color with my fabric swatch. You see how there's some lighter areas here? That would be how this color would look if the room was very well lit or the sun was shining in. Let's try the blue now. The blue looks really pretty with this fabric swatch as well. That would be a tough choice. This is something that you can do in front of your client. Copy, add another drawing space, and I am in the marketing drawing scale. And this one I'm going to put the blue background on. I'm going to add another drawing space. And this one I'm going to put the darker green on. This will be a tough choice for my client because I think they all look good. I think maybe this lighter green might be my favorite. One other thing I'm going to do with my color matching template I'm going to take this blue and make it a little bit lighter. I really like that one. So now I've got four pages to toggle through. I could even name the pages. And naturally now, I would go to my Sherwin-Williams paint deck and start looking through my colors with the fabric in front of me 
and find this shade of blue. Once I find my color, I'll add it to the paint daub and I'll put the name of the color above it. Any contrasting fabrics or trims will go here in these swatches. And here's our final color match palette. I took the fabric and my Sherwin-William fan deck and I found a perfect color that matched the blue in the fabric and I picked out some extra fabrics and now my client can get a really good idea of how everything's going to look against this backdrop 